whatever I can do uh, to prevent uh, the availability of these particular kinds of weapons, you know, I want to do that. Ultimately, my job is to protect the children and the residents of the state of California. It is extremely important that individuals in the state of California do not own assault weapon. I mean, that's just so crystal clear. You know, we're here in Sacramento to really help people, to protect the general public, and I think that's my priority. Currently, uh, the state of California has a ban on assault uh, uh, rifles, assault weapons, and uh, unfortunately, because of a loophole in that uh, particular bill, uh, we have uh, found that uh, there are, in fact, weapons that are out there uh, that skirts uh, that particular ban. And that loophole's name is Senator Leland Yee. Hello, everybody. Craig DeLuz here, bringing you breaking news from the Cal FFL newsroom as California State Senator and known anti-gun activist Leland Yee was taken into custody on charges of corruption, bribery, and of all things, weapons trafficking. Senator Yee, can you say anything? He began the day one of the Bay Area's highest ranking politicians. Now, State Senator Leland Yee is in federal custody. Beginning early this morning, the FBI conducted a series of raids across Northern California, eventually arresting 19 men with crimes ranging from selling drugs and weapons to murder for hire. Senator Yee himself faces weapons charges as well as one for public corruption. It seems that the motivation for the senator's alleged crime stem from a significant debt left over from his failed bid to be elected mayor of the city of San Francisco. It's estimated that that amount is somewhere upwards of $70,000. Now, additionally, the senator is also trying to run for secretary of state. Once again, another opportunity to raise money. According to the federal affidavit, in exchange for a campaign contribution, the senator was to introduce the donor with someone who he knew to be in the business of illegally trafficking firearms. But little did he know that that campaign donor was actually an undercover agent. The undercover agent said he would be willing to give Senator Yee more money once the first shipment of weapons was complete. The feds also alleged Senator Yee had a conversation with an undercover agent about an arms dealer he knew with contacts in Russia and Ukraine. Senator Yee said, quote, do I think we can make some money? I think we can make some money. Do I think we can get the goods? I think we can get the goods. Now, it's important to note that Senator Yee, just like all Americans, is innocent until proven guilty. And it could be some time before he finally has his day in court. But what if it is true? I mean, have you seen the affidavit? I mean, if it's true, can you believe how unbelievably I is? I mean, what a The man sat in the middle of a gun deal. He didn't just connect two people. He put the buyer with the seller and said, we're going to bring in these guns. He negotiated the gun deal. Not just any old gun deal. We're talking about M16s and rocket launchers. This is the face of the anti-gun movement in the state of California. Once again, this is Craig Deleuze from the Cal FFL Newsroom. We'll talk to you real soon.